exercise 14 is very similar to exercise 13 using the uh, distance constraint. However, this time we're going to add in the use of angles. So instead of using the shift key to limit my mouse to straight up, down, left, or right, now we're going to be adding the ability to go at different angles as well. So exercise 14 again starts off going up to our curve menu and clicking on polyline and polyline. And our starting point is 16 comma 5. Uh, the next step gets us to type in 5, so again, I'm going to limit my line to 5. That's when I get this line of two different colors. Uh, but then I have to type in angle 45, or less than 45. Uh, and now, if you watch my mouse, you notice it's not limited by anything. It's kind of free-flowing. But once I hit the enter key after I type in that less than 45, my mouse is now locked into 45 degree increments. So I can't change the or do a random angle. It's going to be at a 45 degree increment. So now I'm going to point it down and to the right, click my mouse, and then just rinse and repeat. Five, enter, uh, angle symbol, less than 45, uh, and click my mouse. Five, enter for the length of my line, less than 45 to type in the angle I want to do, click my mouse, and once we do three of those, we're going to hit close uh, to finish off our diamond shape, and there we go. That completes exercise number 14 and the first major project in a Rhino unit.